Yes, indeed, I do have the two captains with me, the defending champion South Africa and five times champions Pakistan here. The coin is with Sohail Tanvir. He's going to give it a flick. Tails. Tails is the call from South Africa. It's a tail. South Africa win. What's it going to be? Uh, we're going to have a bat. Uh, You're going to have a bad, interesting tactic because I know that uh, your opponents also probably want to bat first. So what's the reason for that? Yeah, we just feel maybe scoreboard pressure might get to them, but uh, that's what the team decided. So we're looking to have a bat. Obviously, your batters have been in good form, good starts all along. Uh, looking to capitalize further on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just want to make, make calm heads there and uh, do the right decisions when we're out there now. And you know you've got a formidable bowling attack up against you. Yeah, I think that's why we're going to looking to bat and get scoreboard pressure on them. All the best. All the thanks. Coming to Sohail Tanvir now, were you looking to bat first again? Yeah, definitely. I was, I was thinking to go with the same plan, but, but things are not, not in your control. So, but, but honestly, I'm, I'm happy because the bowling, the bowling unit I have, I mean, we'll try to restrict them. And they, I know they, they're a good batting side, but they are not good bowling side. So we'll try to do, I mean, restrict them to in between 80 to 90 and we'll, we'll fancy ourselves to chase it. Now you've got a world-class bowling unit, the four fast bowlers. How happy with, were you with the performance in the last game, even though you did win, of course? Yeah, definitely it was an easy win for us. I mean, we knew that if we, if we, if we put good total on the board, we, we have good enough resources to defend it. So definitely, I mean... Yeah, uh, enjoying me. Um, it's been a couple of months. I, I opened in, in CPL, so so that's why I'm carrying it on and then putting uh, putting pressure on my shoulders as a I'm, a I'm a skipper and I'm a senior most player in the team. All the best. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, when you're the skipper, it's not just about pressure on the shoulders. He can take all the calls he wants to. The decision from the toss, South Africa have won it and they will back. So here we are. Very strategic from South Africa. They're going to place the ball, try and get the... Oh dear, he made a bit of a mess of that. Did he have a foot over the line there? It was very close. I wonder if they're going to have another look at that. The umpires had a little chat with the keeper. I guess they're happy with it. No, he's given four. He's given four. Yes, look at his boot. It was over the line and definitely there's no question about that. He didn't have any way to get out of that one. He certainly did and I'm surprised... The the fielder didn't stand up and just say, look, it is a definite four. I mean, that practically his whole body was over the rope. So, yeah, four runs uh, off the first ball of the game. Sarel Erwi. Opening with uh, Sumila Seibokwe. They've all had their turn. They've all had some big hits in this tournament. They started off really well putting runs on the board and putting pressure on the opposition. The bowling hasn't been the best, so they need to put runs on the board. And if they can do it against this quality Pakistan bowling lineup, they'll be very pleased because Pakistan in all forms of the game have been known to be a little brittle when it comes to chasing. Yeah, for sure. But you also, one thing you do get with Pakistan cricketers is a lot of skill. You see a lot of skill on display. You see Mohamed Sami there. He will, he's trying to get the ball to shape away from the batsman. Obviously back into the left-hander. But I think also as the game progresses, as the tournament progresses, we will see a lot more skillful guys coming into play. Some good skill there from South Africa. Another boundary, the second of the over. We're still in the first over from Mohamed Sami. I love that shot. Bowlers. I love that shot. Just opens the face on contact. I think as the tournament progresses, the better teams obviously are going to come out on top. And I think you'll see better cricket shots. I think at the moment you can get away with slogging the ball, but against better attack, you've got to play proper cricket shots. And that's something that's going to be very evident as the program progresses. So we're in for a treat. Oh, look at that. That's a bit of a treat if you like some bowling. Which fast bowler doesn't like to see the middle stump uprooted and going for a walk? Whoa! Yeah, it's a wonderful sight for any fast bowler, any fielding team to see the ball flying out. But I tell you what, I think the batsman's missed on a juicy full toss, playing across the line. We see the end of Irway. It's a horrible looking shot. Jeez, he should have done better than that. Yeah, there was some contact with the, with the thigh pad probably as it went. It just swung wildly and it just brushed it and 
And uprooted the middle stump. He won't be happy if he looks at that replay back in the dugout. Seibokwe, one of the openers goes. Brings on Ferisco Adams. He's bowled so well for them. Now he's been given the job with the bat by his captain. Obri Shwanipol due to come in next. Anwar Ali. Nicely placed there by Irway. Four more. Again, like I said, the quality of bowling that Pakistan have, you have to play proper cricket shots to get boundaries. You can't just across, play across the line and slog and chance your arm against a top attack. Some expensive camera equipment out there. Photographer protects it. Doesn't prevent boundaries, of course. Now that's been dealt with the way a full toss should be dealt with. Into the trees. That's what should have happened with the delivery from Mohamed Sami, the last ball of the previous over. It's an absolute gift from Mr. Anwar. And Irway not missing out on that one, that occasion. Watches it all the way onto the bat and a clean swing off the bat. This should be taken. The bowler wants it himself. Anwar Ali takes it. And that is the end of the way. He is a little frustrated because how he changed the length there. The full toss went for six, held it back a bit, changed the length completely, and the batsman was still in the same flow. Yeah, some smart bowling there by Anwar. Held it back, bit of a slow ball, a cutter into the deck. Got it high on the bat, playing across the line. Irway and paid the price. And Anwar completing a simple catch he almost played a, a shot and a half to that he was trying to play the same free-flowing shot he played to the previous delivery that went for six then realized he needs to stop but the ball was still on to him simple court and bowl for Anwar Ali and then he blows hot and cold six wicket and then concedes a couple of gift runs yeah I'm guessing he was uh Trying to go for the leg stump, Yorker. This is the dismissal. Simple catch by Anwali. Anwali to Aubrey Swanepoel. Yeah, it looks like Anwar Ali's tactics are very much to try and cramp the batsman for any room, trying to angle the ball into their body. He succeeded so far. Just giving the 12 runs. So he'll be looking to get away with maybe perhaps under 16 runs in this over. If he can go for just the two singles, that will be magic for Pakistan. That has been smashed. It's not going to be under 16 because that's the second six of the over. But it just it puts things in perspective that if you do go for about 16 and you average that, 16 into 5 is 80. That is the lowest score in the tournament. So it just shows that it's not the worst over even now. Now it is. That's not a good end to the over from Anwar Ali. 22 off the over. So 6 and a 4 to finish the over. South Africa 34 for 2 at the end of over number 2. Such a good first over we had from Mohamed Sami. Kind of compensates for the 22 run over, so. It does, and the captain brings himself on here, Suel Tanvir. Bowling to Risco Adams. Adams was hitting it to all parts. He was. He was in good touch, Adams. In his first game, got 30-odd in his first game. So he'll be hoping to carry on from where he left off. Yeah, and it all came in that one over. 
Lots of catching practice in the stands. Can be up against a very different bowling attack here, both Adams and Shwanipol. Yeah, Pakistan well supported in this part of the world. To be honest, they're well supported anyway. It's a bit like the Indian fans, aren't they? Very well supported. Yeah, particularly back in England, you can see an India-Pakistan game be like a local derby. It certainly is. I mean, uh, strategically, they always try and get them to play in Birmingham where there's a huge Asian population in England. And, geez, I tell you what, when I played against Pakistan at Birmingham, it felt like an, aw an away game for the England guys. Yes, I've covered a couple of games, one England-Pakistan and one uh, India versus England, and both times England looked like the away team, completely at Edgbaston. But they've come in families, all ages, the kids have really been uh, imbibing some of the entertainment. A little naughty from the Pakistan captain. He's pulled an excellent over otherwise. At this rate, South Africa only get to 73. I think nothing under 90 will do in this sort of uh, situation. Yeah, you can see the quality of the bowling here possessed by the Pakistan guys. Got, still got a lot of good bowlers. Still bowl there, one allotted over. You've got Sohel. Still to bowl Sohel Khan. Sorry that I meant. Dasel Tanvir, who's obviously during his over, he's only conceded his six runs. Only the two sixes Pakistan have conceded in this game. So they're looking very, very in a comfortable position right now. That's smart. That is smart play from the South Africans. A yeah, great bit of footwork. Got it inside the line of the ball, washed it all the way onto the bat. Didn't try to over hit it. Just let the bat do the talking. You have to keep reminding yourself there are just four fielders in the field, and no one's going to have a fielder behind, either on the off or the on side. So anything to just help along is going to be four every time. Yet we haven't seen too much innovation in this game. You haven't seen too many deflections. You haven't seen people guy trying to get ball inside the ball. You haven't seen many of those shots. Absolutely. All you've seen a lot of is ball muscled over the boundary line. Even though we've got the man who taught Dilshan, the Dil Scoop, his own brother, playing for Sri Lanka. And he's known to play the Dil Scoop better than his own brother does, but he hasn't brought it out yet. It's still in the kit bag. <laughs> Sampat? Well, he might need it if, uh, later on if they are to progress. Into the finals. So he can't choosing to keep his cap on. The good thing about this format is it gives all the teams a chance. Even someone at the bottom of the group still has a shot of jumping into the quarterfinals, getting into the plate if you're not in the main cup round. So everyone's still going to be alive, and that's that's one thing that'll be good for all eight teams. very much to play for in this competition even if you lose your first couple of games that's the kind of stuff that we saw from Adams in the previous game he hit five of them in one over this time he's just started to get going you saw that length ball disappear over mid wicket lovely strike lovely flow of the bat six more to young Adams hit Pakistan's quickest bowler there, Sohail Khan. Wasn't very happy. Pumps yeah, he, up uh, the gas a little bit. Yes, and he got the ball to swing a little bit, which was key. You, the moving ball so much tougher to hit for a batsman. You see there, just gets a little bit of sh away shape. It's made it that much harder for young Adams to hit it through the boundary.
Yeah, he gets he gets a boundary for that. If someone's bowling quick, someone's getting a bit of movement, and you're not able to hit it in front, just help it along. There's no one a third man. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you will see a lot of skill from the Pakistan players. You can see the ball swinging. That's a skill there, but such is the nature of this game. You get that thick edge and it flies down to third man for four. Yeah, the last uh, game, Sohail Khan bowled the last over, so he'll leave uh, Hamad Azam to bowl the final over of this innings. But good thinking from Sohail Tanvir, bringing his four front-line bowlers for the... Presumably the frontline batsman from South Africa. Attempted in swinger from Sohel Tanvir. Sorry, not Sohel Tanvir. Sohel Khan. Sohel Khan has been heaved away down to fine leg for four runs. Of the five deliveries so far, South Africa will want to finish this over well because it's still not on course for anything more than 76 at this current rate. Oh, that's on to the third floor. Somebody yeah. fetched that from the roof. That's out of it. Fresco Adams letting his back do the talking. Just eases into the shot. Have a look here. Bang! Just a free flying cricket shot. Yeah, that was all about good timing, and there's no better timing than to have our partners in Hublo who've been um, keeping us on track in terms of getting matches finished on time. And of course, they've introduced this wonderful Big Bang innovation. Where any batsman who are able to hit the Hublot signage at the far end of the ground will double their score, get six more runs for a maximum and make it 12. So far, no one's done it. Yeah, I would Wonderful love to, to see that happen. Ball. To be able to score a 12 in a game of cricket will be amazing. Again, a bit more swing for the Pakistani bowlers. Ahmad starting with just single. Makes it that much tougher right now. Huge. That is heading towards the swimming pool. That's not coming back. I don't think he'll have enough time to do that, but that's an outside edge. Korne is waiting. The umpire from here, but... That is magnificent. Sohail Tatbir is livid with himself. He timed the previous two deliveries so well. This one went about 40 stories high. And the captain of South Africa, Opri Shonepal, took the catch of his life. Yes, a very smart catch there by Mr. Swanepoel. The captain makes good ground. Gets to it, keeps his composure. Complete, so a very smart catch. So that's the end of Tail Tanvir. South Africa keep picking up wickets. Pakistan are 29 for two. Captain catches captain. He must have run about 30 yards there. And what about the reaction? It's almost as if he does that every day. Takes the catch, tosses it to his keeper, almost goes back to his fielding position. Swept away this time. To the square leg boundary. It's a rather expensive. So, say you bock me for South Africa. Still got one ball to go. 22 already. Make that. Oh dear. Has that gone straight? Oh dear. I hope that photographer managed to defend himself. Twenty-six of that over from Say Bokwe. Again in the slot for the Pakistan batsman. I've got a feeling the cameraman's copped a blow from the back of his head. Yeah. 
Memphis East into the That's four more to Pakistan. Ahmad moving on to 23 of seven balls now. Pakistan needing 31 more runs. Well, that's been called a no ball. Just want to remind the viewers that there's no free hit in this competition. Ahmad using his feet. Bags it down the deep bit on just for a single. So they Oh, that's got a hurt. square legs. Had four, six runs. That's just a gift. An absolute gift for Pakistan. Okay, and halfway down. And a great bit of batting there by young Hamad, who swats it for six more. And walks off to retire for Pakistan. By Pakistan. Well, Khan has twatted that over. Deep it off for six. First ball that he's faced. So that's the end of on. Swan a ball. So for a captain realizing he needs to get his death bowler into the game. Maybe try and get the pressure on. Packs down by. Starts with a wide. Pakistan and the Ali Sohel Khan. Well, got six more to Pakistan. Lovely clean strike there by Anbar Ali. By a miss by Anbar Ali. I'm wondering always, uh, for hitting the Hublo sign, you get 12 runs. What's the price for hitting our cameraman? <laughs> oh, well, a couple of dot balls there for South Africa. I oh, know. It's been given a wide. The job for Pakistan. And they dutifully do it. With a nicely flicked boundary by Anwar Ali. Yes, the Pakistan cruise to victory in only 3.3 overs. Win by four wickets. Almost a walk in the park for Pakistan to get the.